Shalom on Yasharada. I want to get infinite honors to my heavenly father and my great king, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, who are worthy of their double honors. And salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing the truth across the four winds in these blessed last days, seconds, and times. On this clip, I'm going to go in and edify the elect uh, about the physical characteristics of the nation of Israel. All right. We're spiritual. We're a spiritual nation. All right. And we live in a time where the so-called white man has turned things upside down. All right. So you got our people that has been given in the marriage to the heathens. Wherever we were scattered, we made covenants with those peoples like the law told us not to do. And that's why we're in captivity for transgression of law. All right. And the fruit that comes from making covenants with the other heathens is you start looking like the other nations. When in the lands you scatter, you speak their tongues, you carry on their philosophies, and you worship their gods, all right? And over time, long time periods, you get the physical characteristics of them. And that's what a great number of our people don't understand. And this guy here who's a false prophet, he's not a man of the Lord because he's teaching lies. And that's another thing. In these last days, man, all these prophets is coming forth. The prophecies that come forth about the false prophets teaching lies and getting judged for it, we're, so, we're going to start seeing that in this day and time. We're going to see Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, your, your pulpit pimp, uh, the guys in these other ABC camps that are teaching lies and heresies. You're about to start seeing them get judged, man. Okay? Because you're, you're scattering the flock. Our great king say you're either with me or against me. All right? You're either gathering the flock or you're scattering abroad. So if you're teaching that all, all Israelites have to look like shaft, got to have uh, hair like wool and skin of bronze, all right? You're teaching lies, okay? Because that's so far from the truth. And we about to I'm gonna play some of this clip and show you how simple this guy is. This guy isn't spiritual. And... Uh, he misoverstands the scriptures, and uh, the Most High is not dealing with him. So we're going to go through the through a, a various precepts and show that he don't know what the fuck he's talking about, and Lord willing, is edifying to the hearers. Yeah, yeah, Israel, no doubt. Let's get down. Uh, we just want to come in and tell you about this white boy, uh, Alizé, who says he's the same as me. But he ain't got this hair. He ain't got your hair. He ain't got your skin color. He don't have your same experience. That motherfucker ain't under no damn curses. That white boy could go and put a motherfucking suit on and go get a job up on up on Wall Street. And y'all stop the bullshit. You know that? Now, you see how simple this guy is, all right? He's talking about physical characteristics, all right? He's saying you have to look a certain way to be an Israelite, all right? Now, we about to go and see what the, the blessed scriptures say, all right? Let's see what the blessed scriptures say, all right? So, I'm going to start off in Deuteronomy. I'm going to go to the 21st chapter. I'm going to go down to probably around verse 10. And it reads, this Deuteronomy 21 and 10. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and Yahweh thy power have delivered them into thy hands, and thou takest, and thou hast taken them captive, our enemies are all of the uh, other nations under the sun, non-Israelites, all right, the heathen, all of them are our enemies, okay, and seest them among the captives a beautiful woman woman now amongst all the heathen nations if you look at the so-called hawaiians so-called east indians so-called japanese and chinese you have beautiful women amongst all of the nations under the sun all right all of the nations have beautiful women even them, them stinking africans when you go to certain parts in the interior of africa you're gonna find some beautiful canaanites all right every nation under the sun have beautiful women okay and haste and desire unto her that thou wouldst have her to thy wife, all right? Now, this wife is not going to be like an Israelite wife. She's not going to get be a part of the commonwealth of Israel. 
she's going to be what is called a concubine. All right. And when she's a concubine, if she bear forth your child, that child is going to come out an Israelite. So you could take, let's say we go to war against the Edomites. All right. And the Edomites are non melanated uh, skinned people. They don't have any hue. All right. They don't have any color. All right. And you pop an Edomite. All right. She's your property. According to the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashima was shot. No other Israelite man can touch her. She's your concubine. She's your property. OK. And whatever child comes from before her legs and that's your seed, that child's Israelite. No matter if that child comes out with blue eyes and blonde hair, that child's an Israelite. OK. And the scriptures is about to prove that. Okay. This is uh the book of Numbers 1 and 18. And it reads, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. So you know your pedigree. You know your nationality according to what your father is. It don't say nothing about a mother. All right. It has nothing to do with your mother, all right? If a Israelite man goes into an Edomite woman, all right, that baby that comes out of her is going to be an Israelite man, all right? If an Edomite man goes into a Judite woman, that baby that comes out of her is going to be an Edomite man, all right? A child, whatever it is, all right? Be it um, son or daughter. It's going to be an Edomite. All right. So he's going in on Alize, who I will agree he's a nigger. All right. He's teaching all shit, but he's an Israelite. Uh, Alize's father is a, a a very dark complected man. Alize say his father is from Haiti. So nine times out of 10, he's a Levite. All right. And his mother is a so-called white woman, a Hebrew Edomite. All right. So when that union came together, Alize is what came out of it. And Alize is whatever the fuck his father is. Alize is a Hebrew uh, Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Okay? And if you teach anything else contrary to that, this is where you fall. This is uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. And it reads, he that is not with me is against me. And the reason you're not with our great king is because you're teaching something contrary to what he told us to teach the nation of Israel. And he that gather not with me scatter for abroad. So you're not bringing the nation together. You're scattering the nation. You got you got brothers that's going to be in the, in the elect that look like so-called white men. You got brothers that's going to be in the elect that look like the other nations, man. That speak the tongues of the other nations. All right. So therefore, you're scattering us abroad. All right. And let me give you an example of that. This is uh this is Revelation 7 and 9. And it reads. All right. All right. Now he uh the narrator, John, John the Revelator, just got, got through speaking on all the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. The elect 12,000 for each tribe. In the verse nine, he said, after this, behold, I know a group, great multitude, which no man could number of all nations. All right. Now, let's see what he means when he say of all nations. All right. He's seen a number of people that came from all nations and kindreds and people and tongues all right so he's seen israelites that came from all four corners on the earth and he was mesmerized by it i'm gonna tell you why he was mesmerized by it because all of them didn't look like him and the people that was living in israel during his time he's seen israelites that look like so-called japanese he saw israelites that look like so-called east indians he saw israelites in all the nations where we scattered let's see why i say he saw a multitude that nobody could number of all nation, kindreds, peoples, and tongues. All right. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel. Uh, 22 verse 15. And it reads, and I was scattered thee among the heathen. All right. And the nations among the heathen, where we were scattered, we started making covenants with the heathen. 
we started giving our daughters to them in marriage and they was taking our um and and giving our sons to them in marriage what the um law um told us not to do all right and when we start doing that guess what we start taking on their physical characteristics uh, over generations all right and dispersed in the countries and will consume the filthiness and consume that filthiness out of thee. All right. So this is the people that John the Revelator seen in Revelation 7 and 9 of all nations, all kindreds. Kindreds mean we look like all the peoples of the earth. All right. He say tongues. Guess what? We speak the tongues of all the people of earth. You got an Israelite in India. You're going to have an Israelite according to the flesh. All right, his seed goes back up to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. But guess what? He's going to look like an East Indian and he's going to speak the tongue of an East Indian. All right. If you got a, a Israelite brother that look that's uh, scattered in the land of the Scots, uh, scattered in Ireland, he's going to look like the Irish. He's going to have red hair, blue eyes. and He's going to always like to fight. <laughs> All right. But uh, like Conor McGregor, I mean, that guy's an Israelite, man. That guy acts more like an ignorant nigger more than any guy I ever grew up with. He talked more shit than any nigger I ever grew up with, man. All right? And his spirit bear witness who he is. Now, if you teach him anything contrary to that, all right, let's say if Conor McGregor received the truth, the, the Most High Holy Spirit fell on him, and he's going hard in the truth, and you're going to tell him he's not Israelite because what he's how he looked, that means you're scattering the flock. You're scattering the flock, all right? And this is what the most I say is about to start happening to you. You false prophets scattering the flock because you don't understand the scriptures. This is uh, Ezekiel 34 and 10, and it reads, Thus saith Yahweh thy power, behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require, require my flock at their hands. See, all the people that's following this guy, all those 5,000 subscribers, that they're going to come, that they're going to see that he was teaching lies and he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Because the last man going to be standing is the most high's elect, his prophets. All right? The ones he's going to tell, uh, job well done, good and faithful servant. The men that are teaching sound doctrine. And cause them to cease from feeding the flock. The most high is about to put an end to all these guys teaching lies. All right, we're living in a day where this prophecy is going to come to pass before our eyes. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore. All right, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth that they may not be meat for them. All right, so our people are not going to be prey to these ravenous wolves. All right, disguising themselves as shepherds. Okay, for thus saith Yahweh, our power, behold, I. I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. All right? And what, that's what the Most High is doing now. He's raised up prophets according to his own heart that are feeding the elect with knowledge and wisdom. And the elect is coming out of all of these nations where they have been scattered. And the elect is coming out looking like the other nations. <coughs> okay? Now, I'm going to give you an example why this guy don't understand what's going on. I'm going to go to the book of uh, Ezra. And I'm going to start at the top, I think. This is Ezra 9 and 1. Now, when these things were done, the princess came to me saying, the people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Parasites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amar Amartes. All right. Now, what, the, what our people was doing was they was marrying these people. They were making covenant with these people, and they were serving the pe these people's uh, gods, okay? Now let's see what happened when you marry when you when you marry you start bearing bringing forth children with these heathens. Let's see what ended up happening. All right, for they have taken of their daughters for themselves and their sons. All right, so over time I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say you put an Israelite man, you put LeBron James in the land in the land of China where it has nothing but Moabites around him, nothing but Chinese. 
and he pops one of those uh, gooks out there. And the gook get pregnant, have his child. When that child comes out, that child is going to have ne so-called Negroid physical traits and it's going to have so-called uh, Japanese, I mean Chinese uh, traits. All right, now let's say LeBron bear a son with her. When, when that son of LeBron goes into another Chinese woman, guess what? Those Negroid traits are going to get thin. And then when that son has a son and that son goes into another Chinese weapon, uh, woman, those Negro, those Negroid uh, physical traits are going to get thinner and thinner to the part where they're going to just look like full-blooded Moabites, full-blooded Chinese. But guess what that seed will go back to when you go up to his uh, posterity? Not his posterity. When you go up to his ancestry, it's going to go back up to LeBron. It's going to go back up to LeBron. No matter how farther you go down and no matter how much they look like the heathen, it look like a full-blooded fucking Chinese, it's going to, that seed got started at LeBron, all right? And that's what these guys don't understand. They're not spiritual, all right? So the Holy Seed have mingled themselves with the people of the lands, all right? Now, when it says it's mingled itself, there's no such thing as a mingled seed, okay? You are what your father are. What it means when they say it mingle themselves, they made covenants with them. That's how you mingle yourself with the heathen. All right. That's how you mingle yourself with the heathen. When you have when you give your son in the marriage with them and your daughter in the marriage with them. That's how you mingle yourself. All right. When your son bear, bring forth children with a heathen woman, that child still going to be an Israelite. And when your daughter bring forth children from a heathen, your daughter's going to bring forth a fucking heathen. OK. All right. And that wasn't supposed to be so. All right. So when these guys read this scripture, they automatically say, oh, that's a mamzer. That's two different seeds. Nah, man, there's only one seed there. OK. And they don't understand these scriptures. All right. And they have mingled themselves with the people of the land. Yeah. The hand of the princes and the rulers have been chief in this trespass. And, the, and, and this is the trespass right here. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 1, and it reads, all right? And I'm going to get to the point, all right? Deuteronomy 7 and 3, Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor uh, unto his son, talking about a heathen, nor his daughter shall thou not take unto thy son. The only way we take in their daughters is when, when I bought out this scripture in um. Deuteronomy 21, all right, when we take them as slaves and, and concubines, but we don't fucking marry them like you're married and make a covenant with a, a, a Israelite woman's uh, father, okay? Now I'm going to go to uh, the book of Nehemiah. This is Nehemiah 13 and 24, all right? And I'm going to start in 23. In those days, I also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, all right? Now, you had Israelite men that took on Chinese women, wives, and, and Japanese wives, okay? And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, all right? They spoke the, the tongues of so-called Chinese and Japanese. And could not speak in the Jews language, but they could not speak in their native tongue language, but according to the language of each people. All right. So this was the problem back then. All right. Nothing's wrong with having a child with a, a gook. All right. If you take a gook as a concubine and you bring forth a child, you're going to teach that child the ways and the laws and the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You're not going to teach your, your, your child the tongue of a heathen. You're not going to teach them the ways of the heathen. And that's what was going on. It wasn't them uh, having children because our law prohibited us to take. Uh, it, our, our law uh, gives us the right to take on concubines and bear children with concubines. That's not where they went off at. They went off because they committed the sin of Solomon. All right. They, they took on the ways of the heathen. OK, if you're going to teach your child 
the tongue of a heathen. You know fucking well you're teaching your child the ways of the heathen, the culture, the customs of the heathen. All right. But guess what? When that man goes into that heathen child, that child is an Israelite according to the flesh. All right. Let me read that again. In those days, I saw Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. And their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod and not in the speech of the Jews. Those, those children were Jews. All right. Those children were Jews. Those children were not Ammonites and Moabites. Those children was Jews. The problem was that the, those children didn't know any of their customs or their culture. All right. They, they were following the, the, those heathen deities. And then and, and, and uh, Ezra was like, man, get that shit away from us. And Nehemiah, too. And I contended with them and cursed them and smote certain of them and plucked off their hair and made them swear by the power saying, you shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? All right. Solomon didn't, king, didn't sin for having all those concubines. All right. Solomon sinned for taking on the ways of, of his concubines, but for following the gods of the Zidonians and so on and so forth. All right. Dealing with the God, the, the foreign deity, Ishtar, the fertility goddess. Okay. All right. That's where he went off, but he didn't go off for popping a fucking heathen. All right. Yet among many nations where there are no king like him who also believed of his power and Power, and, and Yahweh made him king all, uh, over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlaze, outlaze his women cause to sin. So the sin wasn't, he. it wasn't a sin for him popping a, a heathen and bearing a child with a heathen. The sin was, was he followed the ways of the heathen. All right. And to stay on topic, man, is it, it, it seems like it's just so simple. All right. But the most high, hasn't opened everybody's understanding. This is all uh, the book of Colossians 1 and 25. And it reads, all right, wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of Yahweh, which is given for you to fulfill the word of Yahweh, even the mystery which have been hidden from ages and from generation, but is now made and manifest to the saints to whom Yahweh make known what is the riches of his glory of the mystery among the uh, of of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Yahweh shine you, Hamashiach in you, the hope of glory. All right. And we know the mystery of the Gentiles, that the Gentiles are going to come from all four corners of the earth, looking like the other nations, man. You're going to have Bruce Lee is Israelite. Bruce Lee is an Israelite. Leonardo DiCaprio is an Israelite. All right. Conor McGregor is an Israelite. We look like all the nations where we're scattered, man. And that's a fact. And if you teach otherwise, uh, you're you teaching Israel to sin and you scatter in the flock. You scatter in the flock. All right. So with that, Lord willing to sit down with Zedify to the hearers. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Shema Oshai by Shema Kakadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yasharala Ababa Bab.